Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I've got a little demonstration here and a little bit of discovery. See, I am going to be doing a series of videos on ESD production and um, just ESD in general. And to help me with this, I have a device here called the Wimshurst machine, which uh, is a machine that generates high voltages through electrostatic discharge. A very cool machine, but it's got some detrimental effects to neighboring devices. Let's go ahead and take a look. All right, guys, here is my Wimshurst machine. <laughs> yeah, I know it sounds like a weird name, but believe it or not, this is a machine which has two rotating discs. Each of them have metal platters that go around, and then there's armatures which carry charge from one side of the disc to the other. Now, one of the things that you guys should be aware of is the only thing that moves when it comes to generating a charge and changing ions is the fact that electrons are moving. That's it. Electrons move from one side of the disc to the other. Now that, you know, the side that is losing the electrons becomes positive charged and the other side becomes electrical uh, <laughs> negative charge. And on this side here, it's got the exact same thing going on. So you have a crank which spins the disc in opposite rotating directions, which is really weird because if I even spin it slowly, you can hear some electrostatic discharge if I spin it slowly. How crazy is that? And on the backside here, you've got basically a couple capacitors, and these capacitors are a metallic sleeve that is separated with a piece of plastic, and then there's metallic on the inside, and that goes up to these little armatures. So nothing is touching anything around this desk. You see that? It's not touching anything. And that's gonna be very important because as I'm sitting here, I'm, I'm redoing my capacitors because they are just uh, absolute garbage, the ones that, that came on here. The metal rod didn't even come all the way up and connect right here. Uh, it had a little tiny air gap and of course that affects the efficiency. So I redid it and I made a spring-loaded uh, metal piece on the inside. And uh, it's got constant contact to the top, which drastically changed the output, to say the least. Uh, the two armatures, the one on that side, you can see is going that way. And then the one on this side is going this way. That's very important that they are exact polar opposites. And what they do is they build up charge. And then they go into these two capacitors. And then you have technically a third capacitor, which is your air gap capacitor. Because air can act like a capacitor too. Uh, so between these two right here, you also have a charge. And what happens is when you spin the handle, it arc gaps between those two. Here's the thing. This guy is touching absolutely nothing. Uh, you can see my camera's way out here. It's all at a distance. And it made my computer go absolutely nuts. Just the Corona which is the Corona is not the beer guys. It is the ions that are floating around this thing. The Corona makes my keyboard and the mouse go crazy. So let's go ahead and do it. Now I'm going to stand up for this one. Um, and I'll show you guys the air gap on the back as I spin it. Ready? You see it? I'm barely spinning it. And my, my, my display is already going crazy. And the keyboard is a hardwired USB keyboard. It, We'll start going crazy. See that? Now you can buy these devices, like I bought this one off Amazon. Need a little bit of love. Okay, you can hear some of my USB devices are already dropping out. I am not getting discharged to any local devices. It is just the corona, which is the electromagnetic waves coming off of this thing that are affecting local USB devices. It's the craziest thing. So I have this guy here, USB-C, that guy there's USB. There's nothing else touching it. Matter of fact, let's, let's pull it further away. Like I said, uh, the air itself acts like a capacitor. So there is technically discharge that is approaching electronic devices. Now, so this is a really good demonstration because we're going to be talking about ESD when you're repairing electronics, right? And this device here, it's going to be more effective for that purpose than I realized because as it builds up a charge, it was affecting devices around it. See it? As I build up more and more of a charge, 
it is actually it's it's shortened out my video you can hear items dropping on and off USB uh oh look at that it dropped my keyboard live on there it just dropped it and uh, let's see up here I'm gonna click up here okay my mouse is working because that's wireless now this guy's wired which means that it ha carries a ground back to the chassis to earth ground so those ions are being attracted to items that have a natural ground that's why I'm not getting zapped because path of least resistance I am not uh, the the closest path to ground because I'm insulated to some degree but that 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 <laughs> I mean those are all past the ground even though nothing is touching not a single thing's touching but watch this my keyboard is no longer working so I have to unplug my keyboard Let's plug it back in now notice that I'm not going over and playing around and touching the uh, the Wimshurst machine because it's a capacitor it has a charge that is latent I'm gonna be very careful here hear that it kept a charge in these plastic tubes down here and that's why I'm being very careful because even though it doesn't look dangerous you're gonna get zapped okay here we go so my keyboards working again you can see the colors I unplugged it plugged it back in as I build up a charge there it goes You see my screen flicker? How cool is that? So right now, this is an extremely dangerous environment for ESD. And it's just sitting on this false leather top. Look at that. How cool. Oh, keyboard just dropped out. You can tell that it's, it's having communications problems. And let's go ahead and discharge it and make this guy safe. Bam! Look at that. How crazy is that? Anyway. Look forward to ESD videos coming soon. I'm gonna go over different coatings, different types of environments for repairing electronics, and all that is going to help because of this guy right here. All right, thanks for watching, guys.